Uh -uh. Eater Loves a Mystery by Doug Cushman. This story is Aunt Eater Solves a Mystery. Dun -un -un, dun -un -un, dun -un -un. Mr. Chumbly knocked on the door one day. I am going to visit Lester, he said. Will you take care of my cat, Sam, while I am gone? Of course, Aunt Eater said. I love cats. Thank you, Aunt Eater, said Mr. Chumbly, as he left. Goodbye, Sam. Meow, meow. While in the kitchen, Aunt Eater looked at Sam. You look hungry, Sam, Aunt Eater said. Here is some fish for you. Sam sniffed the plate, <laughs> but he turned up his nose. Meow, no. Maybe you would like some milk, said Aunt Eater. And she gave him a bowl of milk, and the kitty cat <laughs> lapped up all the milk. Suddenly the sky turned dark. It began to rain. Shh. Thunder roared. <laughs> Lightning flashed. <laughs> All the lights went out. Oh, dear, Aunt Eater muttered. Where, where did I put the candles? She went to look for the candles in a drawer. By the time she came back, Sam was gone. Sam, she called. Where are you, Sam? She looked under the sink, and she looked behind the stove. No, Sam. I will look upstairs, and no, Sam. And I look downstairs, no, Sam. Oh, dear, what will I tell Mr. Chumbly? Mrs. Ant Eater asked. It's very windy out. Water raining. Everything's coming out. Mm -mm. Ant Eater thought for a minute. I should look clues for clues, just like in my mystery novels, like a real detective, she said. She saw the open door. I bet Sam went outside. The rain had stopped. Aunt Eater saw cat paw prints in the soft ground. A clue, said Aunt Eater. Come here, come here. She followed the paw prints down the street and around the around the corner. There, the paw prints stopped. What would a detective do now? Thought Aunt Eater. She thought some more. Well, she said, Sam is an alley cat. Maybe he went into the alley. The alley was dark. <gasps> Aunt Eater's neck tingled. <laughs> Maybe I should come back tomorrow. Then she heard a meow. Sam? She cried. She rushed in the alley. Oh, my! And in the alley, there were hundreds of cats. And they all looked like Sam. Meow, 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 meow. Sam? She called. Sam, which one of you is Sam? All the cats meow. Meow, Sam, meow, Sam, meow, Sam. Oh, dear, she said crossly. How will I ever find Sam? Then Aunt Eater had an idea. She ran down to the fish store, and she bought a big fish. She came back with that package of fish, and she said, Look, cats, she called. I have some nice fish for you. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. Hundreds of cats came running to Ant Eater. Meow, meow. They all wanted fish. All except one cat. Sam. Can you tell me which one Sam is? Uh-huh. Sam looked at the cat. The cat looked up in the air. Meow, no, thank you. Meow, meow, no. 
But all the cats went, meow, meow, yes, meow. And he said, my, my, I found my Sam. Mr. Chumbly will be so happy. Aunt Eater picked up Sam and carried Sam back to her house. She poured a bowl of milk for him, made a cup of cocoa for herself, and she said, Let me read you a new mystery. I just got it yesterday from Amazon, Aunt Eater said. And that is what she did. She sat down in her favorite chair, opened a book, and Sam whoop, jumped on her lap. Sam drank his milk and listened late into the night before falling asleep on Ant Eater. The mm. end.